Hey there, so in this video let's talk about LiveWire from Wizard with validation support and I have this demo ready so we have a form which spreads across three steps and user can navigate to the next step the, let's fill in some information user can go to the next step we also have the validation support and finally on the last step we provide a submit button to the user so in this video we will go through how to implement this exact same form wizard using livewire so this is the component code is available on livewiredemos.com this is the component class and this is the components view file I already have the component class and the view file ready in my project so this is the component class and this is the component view file and if you look into the rendering of the component the component name is livewire form wizard and if we see the output on the local host we see that we have three steps which is step one step two and step three and this is where your form fields will grow and this has the ability to go to the next step and the previous step if we look into the component this has the necessary methods for the user to go to the next step to submit it and to validate it and if we look into the view file the view file is basically divided into the three parts this one is the step indicator which is basically the navigation items on the top which indicates which step user is on the second part is the step content which basically contains the content of the step so this is where your form fields will go and depending on which step user is on so if user is on step 1 whatever content you want to show will go here and if user is on step 2 the content you want to show will go here the third part of the view file is a step buttons which is basically used to navigate from one step to another to the previous step and to submit the form now this is the skeleton of liveware form wizard and we can extend this to create our own form wizards you are free to modify the values in here as well to change the form but it is advisable to extend this one so that the core functionality remains in this one and you can make many form wizards using this simple component class let's go ahead and do that so for now we will try to build a user inquiry form and let's create a livewire component php artisan livewire make user inquiry form so this will generate two class two files one is the php class and another one is the view file and if we go to the php class in here let's override this value to create our own steps and i want to name my steps as about you your requirements and finishing up and now if we go to the user inquiry form plate file let's just copy the skeleton that we have been provided by liveware form wizard and let's just paste it here and we will render this component in the test file so instead of this thing i have user and query form this is my form wizard which i am looking to work on so we have created this user inquiry form instead of extending the component it should now extend the live wire form wizard now it should work right there we go so you have the about you step your requirement and finishing up and you can move between the steps so you have the skeleton ready next up i want to replace the content of the form so i need to change the values here here and here 
So in the first step, I want to have three form fields, which is full name, email and organization. In the second step, I want to have two form fields, which one is a radio button and a checkbox, which is the notification method and uh, interested in tools. And in my third step, I'm looking to have two form fields, which one of which is a select box and another one is a text area. Now if we go back and give this a refresh, you see that the first one has three form fields, the next one has two and the last one has two. It has two. Now um, the next thing that I'm looking to work on is the validation support. So currently if you look into the user inquiry form, we haven't defined any fields related to this form input value. So let's go ahead and do that first. So these are the values that are related to my form and we have wire model each of these to the input fields and if I am looking for the validation support I need to define a value which is rules and this is a basically an array and for the multi-step support validation what I need really need to have is different arrays the first array would validate the steps in would, would validate the input fields in step one. The next one would validate the input fields in the step two. So I'll go ahead and paste the values which I'm looking to validate. So now I have the rules. The first one is this one. So the validation for the step one will validate if full name, email and organizations are required. The next step will validate if these are required. And when you finally submit the form, it will validate all the fields. Let's go ahead and test this. So if I'm trying to move from the step one to step two without filling in the values, I'll get the validation errors. So let's fill in these. And we can move to the next step. You are also allowed to move to the next step or previous step using these tabs indicators and if I try to do that from here it also validates if we have successfully filled in the form so we will do that first and try to move to the next step and if we finally submit you should see a validation error here as well because we haven't selected a value so this is basically how the multi-step wizard form works and it also has a feature of let's say if we refresh it and we fill in the values here and if user is trying to go to the last step without moving to the next step it will basically ask you to fill in the second step before moving on to the third step so this has also been covered and the next thing that I would want to share is the support of having those values stored in the session so if you go to the step one and somehow if user gives it a refresh the values are gone and you don't want that to happen in your form wizard because when user is filling out a long form let's say for if a form takes 10 minutes and down the line after five minutes somehow the page refreshes then all of your data is gone and we have a support to store the data in the session how we can do that is if we look into the main component that is liveware form wizard you have a public value store values in session which is default to false and I can override it to say true now if you give it a refresh every time your component loads it att attaches a unique ID to that form and whenever user fills in that information and goes to the next step the value are saved in that session and if you refresh the data is still there we are still on the second step and the data is still there so you can enable this by extending this value let's cover a few more things of how you can utilize the liveware form wizard component this one has a uh, event functionality so if you want to override or implement some feature on the next step or the previous step you can 
implement these you can listen to these events move next and move previous and the switch step so these are the events available for you to utilize and uh, if you are looking to reset the form you can utilize the reset form method so this will basically clear out the session and reset the form fields and if you are looking to do some action on submit you can utilize the form submit event and implement a method that will listen this event and whatever you want to do with your form values either submit it to the database or send them to a mail or whatever you can utilize the form submit event to do that so this component is available at livewiredemos.com and you can just copy this file um, and create a new component livewire form wizard along with the view file and then you can extend it uh, like an example given below to create your own form. I hope you liked it and do comment in the below section if you are facing any issues or if you have any comments about this component. Thank you.